Astrological art generally falls under the larger category of diagrammatic art. And we're really talking about scroll paintings here and not so much to do with uh, sculpture. Now, we can also be talking about murals because it is common to find uh, different types of astrological paintings as uh, done on walls in, in temples, depending on what the interest of that particular monastery or tradition uh, uh, focuses on. Now, astrological art, we're dealing with um, really two main types of, of objects. We're talking about scroll work, paintings that are, are in the general um, format, rectangular format, and often showing the, the different uh, planetary bodies. Um, and so we're really looking at, at, at um, circles and, and uh, circles within circles and planetary bodies. But we also have uh, very long, um, very long charts um, that are, are really showing all kinds of different um, symbols. Uh, they're showing uh, different, different uh, really we're talking about years, months, days of the week, and hours, and all kinds of symbols that represent those. And these are done often in very long, elongated uh, um, scroll work paintings, but they can also be in, uh, in text and done with paper. So w with astrological art, we really have um, very few um, um, physical kind of uh, dimension subjects in terms of the types of, of uh, painting. But what we do have is we have the White Barrel. Uh, it's a manuscript. It was a publication by the Desi Sangji Jatso, uh, similar to the Blue Barrel, uh, uh, to do with medicine by the same author, Desi Sangji Jatso. Now, the White Barrel is a massive compendium of, uh, uh, of different subjects dealing with uh, astrology. And this came about because Desi Sanjajatso felt that there were too many different systems and many systems with errors uh, amongst the Tibetan uh, educated community. And so he wanted to clarify what was the definitive and the most correct form of, uh, of astrology. So he came out with the, the White Barrel uh, manuscript. So we do find uh, different publications of this. We find different versions, different um, uh, uh, hand-painted uh, versions. Now, we also have a specific kind of painting called a sipaho. A sipaho is basically taking all kinds of very auspicious astrological symbols and putting putting them into one scroll work painting. And uh, it's generally two circles, uh, one smaller circle below, uh, which is actually the the stomach or or uh, the the bottom of uh, of a turtle of a tortoise. Uh, the tortoise has been a symbol of astrology in, in China and, and possibly in India going back for, um, for thousands of years. So this is common in, in, in Tibetan um, astrology. Tibetan astrology is based on two forms. One, one is coming out of India and one is coming out of China. The one out of China is thought to be coming from Manjushri, the Bodhisattva of Manjushri. Now, also from India, we have different systems of astrology, so it's not just one. And uh, so we have a, a very, we have an older version of astrology, but then we have a newer version, which is the Kala Chakra. And so we do have different, um, specifically Kala Chakra uh, models of, of astronomy and, and the universe and the planetary bodies. Um, then we have something called the Svarodaya uh, uh, text, and this is often put and is associated with the white barrel, but it deals more with astrological and martial magic. But we do find uh, art that relates to, uh, to this subject as well. So, so really what we're looking at is we're looking at, at, at uh, charts primarily, and then we're looking at very, very long scroll works uh, depicting all of the emblems and uh, symbols and, and the motifs that represent the, 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 the years, the months, uh, the, and, the, and the days. All different uh, uh, symbols. Some are figurative. Some are, uh, are just uh, symbolic. So, so this is... Um, 
astrological art. <laughs>